super dreamt of a Porsche that combines the 959, the Carrera GT, and the 918 Spider. Well, good news, weirdos. Porsche has just revealed the new Porsche Mission X, which technically is a Mission X. Well, I'll be telling you more about this Porsche Mission X right now. I'm Junior, and you're watching Junior on Cars. We'll start off with the most important question of the Porsche Mission X. Well, is the Porsche Mission X internal combustion or is it electric? Well, sad news for most Porsche fans, the Porsche Mission X is actually going to be a fully electric supercar or hypercar. Well, technically, by the way it looks for me personally, I think it is a hypercar. I don't think it's a sports car or whatever you can call it. But the Porsche Mission X is actually going to be a concept that Porsches of that shows how Porsches in the future will actually look like so Porsche is actually showing us what Porsches of the future might look like but I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say anything bad because honestly speaking the Porsche Mission X just looks like a hyper car and it looks absolutely cool I I'm not really an electric fan, but the Porsche Mission X is quite beautiful, I'm not gonna lie, honestly speaking. And the Porsche Mission X is actually going to be setting examples for actually more Porsches in the near future. Such as, you know, other Porsches, maybe other hyper Porsches that are going to come in the near future, which are going to be fully electric. Well, the Porsche Mission X is actually inspired by the 959, the Carrera GT, and also the 918 Spider. So it also takes a lot of inspiration from its legendary brothers, which actually has been setting the footprint the blueprint for most Porsches of today. Well, the 959 was actually futuristic and the Carrera GT was just ahead of its time. The 918 was setting example for hybrid cars of Porsche hybrid cars of today. So the Mission X is actually taking most of those stuff and putting it together to set more examples for more Porsches in the near future. Well, let's get into the most important stuff. Well, the interesting part about the Mission X. Well, the Mission X is actually going to be Porsche's vision of the fastest road legal vehicle on the noble grid. Yes, Yes, you have heard me right. Porsche is actually aiming to make the Mission X the fastest Porsche, the fastest Porsche actually road legal vehicle on the Nurburgring. So, honestly speaking, I'm not sure if Porsche is going to make this a concept and drive it, or maybe is it just going to be, uh, you know, one of those Porsches that sit in the museums that no, none of, not even one person can buy. But Porsche is actually building this car to make sure that it's going to be the fastest road legal vehicle on the noble grid well personally speaking the porsche mission x it is capable of doing that because as we all know electric cars are super fast and have lots of power built in it because of all the batteries the lithium batteries well the porsche mission x is none different because the porsche mission x for me personally I don't really think the Porsche Mission X is going to have like 800 horsepower or 600 newton meters of torque. I think that the Porsche Mission, the Porsche Mission X is actually gonna have way beyond that, maybe 1,600, maybe Bugatti territory, or maybe 1,717 or maybe 1,800 horsepower. Tell me in the comments below what you think the Porsche Mission X's horsepower and also zero to 60 time will be if Porsche really reveals it to us. Well. Let's leave that and let's get back to where the most important stuff are, which are the stats. Well, the Porsche Mission X actually, according to Porsche, will be a one-of-one one power to weight ratio. Yes, yeah, so you've heard me right. Porsche is actually going to say that the Porsche Mission X has a one-of-one one power to weight ratio. Well, also, it will be a high-performance electric drive. It will have a high-performance electric drive and also extreme downforce. Yes, the Porsche Mission X is going to be fully electric but as we all know Porsche doesn't aim on having lots of power it aims on having lots of downforce to put you on the ground and make better lap time lap times as we all know better downforce better grip makes better um better times well personally speaking the Porsche Mission X actually I think that it can make the noble green can make around the noble green less than five minutes I'm not gonna lie because the the Mission X looks capable of breaking any single record well the Mission X actually according to Porsche the Mission X will have more downforce than the ludicrously crazy GT3 RS 911 yes the current one not the old one the new 911 GT3 RS as we all know the GT3 RS has lots of downforce well tons of downforce they plant it to the track or 
road or whatever because of that big wing well the porsche mission x won't be actually having a big wing which i'm getting to the interior i mean the exterior now well let's leave the stats and let's jump into the exterior well the porsche mission x actually like i said will be having tons of downforce more than the 911 gt3 rs and like i said the gt3 rs is way crazy with downforce because as you all know the downforce on the gt3 rs is way beyond any super car or hyper car of today because it plants you to the ground it grips you on corners and keeps you stable to make any single time that you want to do on the track or wherever well the porsche mission x will be actually not having a big um, standard wing it will be actually having an adaptive wing yes the mission x will be actually having an adaptive wing which will give you maximum downforce because porsche's aim is to make the airflow much more easier so to make the airflow much more easier is to put adaptive wing to make it much more better on downforce and also like i said it is maximum downforce you can imagine the downforce that you're going to have on the track and also the adaptive wing actually ensures you that the downforce will be together under will be together joined by the underbody airflow so it means that both the air, the adaptive wing and the underbody airflow will work together to actually give you maximum downforce like literally the downforce coming from the airflow under under body under the body yes i think under the body there is going to be some you know wings and everything to work to give you better airflow but like i said the adaptive wing and also the underbody will be actually working together underbody yeah like i said the underbody sorry to repeat it so many times underbody and the adaptive wing will be working together to give you maximum downforce that you can have the best downforce that you have ever heard on a porsche literally that is porsche's aim to give you the best porsche downforce ever heard in your best life well literally or on your life well let's leave that and let's jump into the exterior like i said let's leave all the crazy stairs now we're really jumping into the exterior and like i said in the beginning my god the porsche mission x just looks way beyond of it way beyond its time i mean honestly speaking Porsche just made the same thing that they did with the 918 Spider is to be ahead of its time. The 918 Spider, as we all know, came in 2015. I think 2015, yes. 2015, it was way beyond its time. It was literally way beyond its time. And until today, the Porsche 918 Spider still looks like a today's car. Well, technically, yes, it was way beyond its time at that time. But now it is, well, technically, it is in its time personally. Well, the Porsche Mission X is body way beyond its time honestly speaking it looks so low to the ground so agile so crazy to look at i mean it's magnificent to look at i just wish personally they could have given it a, v, a v12 maybe or a v8 i think because the 959 had a v8 the carrera gt had a v10 and the 918 spider had a v8 so actually the 918 spider had a hybrid version a hybrid v8 but it still has an internal combustion but the Mission X is actually setting an example for the future electric cars. Well, the future electric cars of the Porsches, they're looking much more better. I mean, they look better. I'm not saying the Porsches look ugly, but they all do look same. They all do look the same. But maybe let's give Porsche maybe a chance to see. Maybe the Mission X is an inspiration. Maybe Porsche may might do better versions of Porsches. Well, the Porsche Mission X will be actually certain. I actually have a certain color called a rocket metallic well if you don't know what the rocket metallic is well i don't know but according to porsche the rocket metallic actually will be brown who which will be darker depending on the angle that you're looking at it it so if you're looking at it from the left maybe close to the light it might it might turn brown light brown i think but if you're in the dark it will be turning dark brown so it all depending on what kind of angle you will be looking at it but porsche states that it ensures that it ensures a hoonigness transition from exterior to interior so you have heard me right this is porsche this is not me i never said this but porsche said it themselves that it will be making a homogeneous homogeneous if you don't know what the word is it is on the subtitles literally homogeneous transition from exterior to interior so it is going to be like a transition to make to make sure that it looks much more better for you in the day or maybe in the night now the porsche mission x the porsche mission x will be having a vertical will be having vertical four point light signature yes 
the new Porsche Mission X. You see those lights that you're seeing in front there on your pay on your screen right now? Yes, those are the vertical four point lights. Yes, those are the new Porsche lights, which at the back, actually at the rear, are E lights. Yes, they are shaped like an E. I think the E is for electric, but it is a e well, way of doing it well the e light well the vertically four point lights are actually directly connected to the lightweight structure so they're actually bonded with the body of the car so nothing less it's still it's bonded with the car so it means that there's no you know gaps or whatever in the on the lights or on the body panels now the mission x actually lights are actually transparent light strips on the seats well let me not jump into that first but i'll get into that one a little bit later because the interior is much more interesting than the exterior well like i said the mission x's lights are actually four point lights so they are actually much more nicer they look absolutely cool and i think that they're actually much more different to other porsches because porsche as we all know are oval lights but the mission x's lights are actually different and also the porsche mission x's front lights will be blinking if you charge the car so they actually have a light show for themselves also when the car is being charged you actually see the lights actually blink while they are charging from the rear and also from the front so it actually makes it much more cooler i can't wait to see porsche make videos of this car because as we all know manufacturers has to do videos for us to see how they look like well we're still sticking with the exterior because now we're getting to the best part about the Mission X, which it is its heritage. Well, the Mission X, like I said, is inspired by the 959, the 959, the Carrera GT, and the 918. Well, that is not the only car. That it, those are not the only cars that the Mission X is also, also inspired by. Is, is inspired by. Well, the Mission X also does get inspired by its 917 brother, which is the Le Mans Porsche. Well, Technically, the doors and whatever is inspired by the 917, but honestly speaking, whether it's inspired by the 911 or whatever, it is still inspired by its Le Mans brother. Well, technically, the Le Mans Porsche, I don't think, I don't know much about it, but technically, Porsche has been taking a lot of inspiration from it, such as the doors. Well, the doors of the Mission X are inspired, like I said, by the Porsche 917, my mistake. Yeah, the 917 Le Mans, which opened upwards at the front so they don't actually open backwards or limb simple doors or like they say silly doors but no actually no not silly doors simple doors which you open you know simple well the porsche 918 i mean the porsche mission x will be actually inspired by the 917's le mans doors which are actually i think the butterfly doors they're called no they're not actually called butterfly yeah i think they're called butterfly doors but they open upwards like like upwards when you push them they just go like they're going to go straight for the bonnet but they open that way and the doors are actually attached to the a pillar and the roof and offers convenient access to the vehicle yes you have heard me right porsche states that it will actually give you convenient access to the vehicle so it's not going to have a problem you're not going to have a problem of getting out and getting in into the car but the doors are actually attached to the ap lane also to the roof so it offers convenient access to the vehicle like i said so it's much more easier for people to get in and out of the car and i think the porsche mission x is going to is going to be a two-seater because i mean it's a hypercar i think it's a hypercar and also the mission x will also feature side windows integrated into the le mans style doors so if you heard me right yes those windows are actually going to be attached to the le mans doors so yeah i think it's i mean they're supposed to i think they're supposed to but they say porsche they say themselves like that that the windows will be actually connected to the doors but i don't think that is an issue because most windows are connected to the door so i don't really get what porsche was trying to say for that but overall for me personally oh yeah before i forget about the interior let's get into the interior well the interior of the mission x is way beautiful i mean it's way different than other porsches that we see well i'm not saying porsche's interior is ugly or dreadful but porsche's interiors are great to be around in i think but the Porsche Mission X's interior is way, way, way different because it is like a stripped out machine. It's like maybe some, it's like, 
a Bugatti, no, actually not a Bugatti. It's like more like a GT3 RS hardcore version with the bucket seats and everything because the seats and the Porsche Mission X will be actually having an LED light strip which runs down the seat shells. So it means the start and the stop button blink in the scene of another, which means that once you start the when you press the start button while well, those leds will be actually switching on i think they don't switch off i think they do switch on while they're off i'm not sure yet because we don't know much about the car besides the stats and everything else but everything in the interior of the mission x is way different to the other porsches that's why porsche said that the porsche mission x is way beyond this time i mean it's way ahead of its time now because honestly speaking it is much more cooler and like i said the lights the led lights are actually going to be transparent led lights led strips at the rear is also integrated into the body so it means that the light strip the light strip at the back is also connected to the body at the back so whatever porsche says and also it's going to be a fixed it will be fixed to the bronze and also to the color to the gold bronze and gold colored support structure so it means that the lines the lights at the back are going to be connected to the body as they are supposed to but overall personally let's leave the exterior i don't know why i was going to the exterior but in into the interior i mean honestly it looks like a truck machine it looks like a truck machine honestly speaking it's more like the venom f5 for me personally it looks more like the venom f5 inside not outside it looks more like the venom f5 outside for me i mean inside for me because the venom f5 is made to be light you know agile and fast so i think the porsche mission x is also built going to be built the same to be fast agile better to corner better downforce better horsepower better this better that faster lap times fast as the road legal car the noble green and so on and so on so porsche's aimers actually are actually getting better at improving getting lap times and more and etc etc but overall for me personally the porsche mission x it's quite cool i mean it's interesting personally speaking i think the porsche mission x is way interesting than you will get in a 911 gt3 rs i think it's much more better i think it's much more how can i say it's much more ahead of its time because it is ahead of its time it is going to be setting example it will be setting example for future porsches which i think personally because then well the mission x is ahead of its time and it looks more like a supercar well not like a supercar looks more like a hypercar so imagine what the price tag of the mission x is going to be well i can tell you from my perspective i think it's going to be way beyond 3 million euros because the mission x even if they do produce it most people who are going to own the mission x are going to be well exclusive people who are part of porsche's you know you know porsche's relationship with most people are not really common but porsches i think most exclusive porsches are going to be sold for most exclusive customers so i think the mission x even if they make examples even if porsche may decides to make examples it's going to be already sold out because the mission x is going to be well it's going to be more like the 918 it's going to be way ahead of its time the 959 was ahead of its time in the 90s the carrera gt was well it was a, a road it was made converted from a track car to a road legal car with no abs no ts no tcs which is traction control if you know what tc don't know what tcs is it was just made a hardcore car and the 918 spider was actually setting a future for the cars of that of cars of today so honestly speaking the mission x it is doing what it's supposed to and porsche's a vision porsche's vision is way clear than it was before so looking forward to hearing what more porsche is going to say or maybe they can give us the stats a little bit about the porsche mission x so yeah if you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a like comment subscribe and if you want to watch more videos on mine click on to the main channel to go and watch more videos on mine and if you want to keep up with the car world or follow our instagram page which is juno on cars and also if you want to keep up with my channel same thing go and visit our instagram page at juno on cars and don't forget to hit the follow button so bye